I'm Ryan Lightfoot Brown of Chelsea Financial Services. We're joined today by Kesson Patel of the Eden Tree Amity UK Fund. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, you've been an analyst and uh, more recently a fund manager on the fund since 2003, um, but you promoted to co manager in 2016 along with Sue Round. Um, do your styles sort of work with each other? Um, how do you guys go about putting the portfolio together and do you differ in any way? In short, no. Uh, I've been working with Sue for over 16 years now, so our styles have kind of grown over that period of time. Sue's been running the fund since 1988, so that's well over 30 odd plus years of experience, so, and I've been there for half the time. Um, what has perhaps changed more is I'm perhaps a bit more granular on the stocks, and Sue's very much involved on the asset allocation, so that's grown over a period of time, so yeah, so we've grown together. And in that 16 years you've been doing it, um, how has the sort of ethical and sustainable industry changed? Massively, first of all, the breadth and depth has grown enormous. Uh, when, uh, the, when the Amity UK fund was launched in 1988, there were only two funds. Now you've got hundreds, so you can build a portfolio in terms across asset class, across geography, and the whole language has changed dramatically as well. When I, when I started in 2003, the, one, the only word was ethical. Now you've got ethical, SRI, which is socially responsible, investing, ESG, which is environmental, social and governance. You've got also sustainability, you've also got impact as well. So the language has changed, but in short, there has never been a better time to be invested in this type of sector and never have investors had such great choice. And is there one sort of industry um, in your investment universe that's just changed the most? Um, and have you got a sort of an example of a stock that's got a real positive story about how it's improved? I mean, well, there's two areas which we will kind of highlight. Certainly, I mean, healthcare has been a very positive pillar uh, for us for a very long time. In many, many years ago, you had a choice of only very, very large companies, the likes of Glaxo and AstraZeneca, but that sector in the UK in particular has grown. The UK leads they're in healthcare and life sciences with pockets of industry of excellence, should I say, in Cambridge and Oxford and also in, in Durham as well. So we've invested in two or three very, very small companies, um, Clinigen, uh, which does um, uh, all the clinical trials and testing. We've also invested in Arix Bioscience, which is a very early stage investor in university spin out. So there's a great choice now in healthcare. The other area which we're quite positive about is, is engineering in terms of UK industrials. These are companies that are making mission critical components. Uh, examples of Porvair, which is based in Kings Lynn, which makes filtration uh, equipment. Another one is Vectrex, which is um, based uh, up in Lancashire, which is involved in polymer. Uh, so very much uh, high end science and the UK leads on that. Okay, and Eden Tree itself is a fairly sort of mind-blowing um, bank of research to, to call upon. You've got everything from palm oil to genetics to sort of carbon footprinting. Yeah. Um, where do you start with all that research, and uh, how do you use that to find the sort of companies you want to invest in? Yeah, I mean, we've been doing this for well over thirty years, so there's a well thought out process uh, in, in terms of research, uh, which is led by my colleague uh, Neville White. And every year we, we have three or four uh, thematic pieces, and you've mentioned a couple there. And these pieces are not just about exploring the ethics or the social issues within these uh, in industries or sectors, it's also eking out a value chain. And we get investment ideas from that, and those are seen in the portfolio. So there's a direct correlation between the thematic research and actually the holdings in the portfolio. Okay, and if you had to pick one area yourself that you're particularly yeah. passionate in, what would it be? I'll probably highlight uh, it will be healthcare, in particular the pivot between what I'd call pharma, drugs and technology. And going forward is the sequencing of the genome and personalised medicine and how that will affect um, investors giving a great opportunity to marry two very large industries together and I think there's a lot of more to come out of the next 10-15 years. And it's all very well finding these companies but engaging with them is a, is a different element altogether. Yeah. How do you go about doing this um, and have you got an example of a company you perhaps engaged with that improved its practices? In terms of engagement again that's led uh, by our internal uh, RI team which is run by Neville and the engagement generally is either collaborative with um, other fund groups mm -hmm. or we do it through the UMPRI. And, and at times we lead ourselves on certain specific issues in terms of engagement, in terms of topics. We've done work on climate change. We've also done work on modern slavery as well. And also various social issues on a company case by case as well. And good examples where we have had some influence um, is around working hours in terms of um, uh, minimum wage, living wage and, and en encouraging companies to do that. It's much easier to engage with small and mid cap companies than perhaps larger ones but certainly as the fund has a focus on small and mid-cap, it gives us a real pivot to engage. 
Okay, Kirsten, that's been really interesting. Thank you very much for joining us and for your time today. And for more information on the Eden Tree Amity UK Fund, please visit chelseafs.co.uk.